Excuse me, you fat little dog. <clears throat> All right, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, and I do mean over-the-top beautiful day here in paradise in the Point Lonesome Swamp in the oasis of freedom on this gorgeous Saturday morning, November 27th, 2021, and I have just finished battling Zillow.com for two fucking hours. Good God, dealing uh, dealing with them. I think I finally uh, got all of the glitches at Zillow.com straightened out, so I'm waiting for the flood of buyers to come pouring in here. So while I'm waiting, uh, I know you guys are... Uh, are waiting to hear uh, <laughs> how my first date on Pile of Fish, sometimes known as Pod of Whales, uh, went last night. Uh, so I had my first date at, this year with a woman from Pile of Fish. Uh, anyway, guys, there is no, uh, there will be no romance, but who knows? I mean, we're going kayaking tomorrow, and uh, we did... We had a lot of laughs, uh, <clears throat> but no romance, although hopefully I have found at least a kayaking buddy. Um, so anyway, we're going to talk about fat people. Now, I don't know if this is a fat shaming video or not. This whole term, fat shaming. I am absolutely ashamed about how fat I am. I, I am completely ashamed uh, how fat I am. I don't know why any woman would want anything to do with a fat ass like me. Uh, so yes, I guess if I'm fat shaming, I'm shaming myself. I mean, I, I, I don't give a fuck uh, how fat you are uh, it, it, as long as... You're not asking me to have sex with you. Uh, you can weigh 600 fucking pounds. It's a, that that is your choice, and it is your choice. If that it is my choice to walk around with this fucking bowling ball uh, inside my belly, it is my choice. Any time I want to get rid of this bowling ball. Uh, in my belly, I can do it. I just need to exercise the self-discipline and the willpower to do it. All of this shit about blaming it on the fucking uh, society, all of the goddamn fat foods and uh, sugar and fat and uh, all, all of this crap, you know, pull it out your fat ass. A, you little victim, well, big fat victim, a, 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 ain't buying this shit for a minute. There's one goddamn reason that, uh, that I'm carrying around this fucking bowling ball in my belly. It has something to do with those, those goddamn two tubs of ice cream over there in Lulu's freezer. It has something to do with this two-pound... A jar of chocolate covered almonds my sister just sent me for Thanksgiving probably has something to do with the uh, I figure 365 nights a year I drink probably 20 ounces of simply limeade which is just sugar water with a little bit of lime juice in it every night uh, I drink about 20 ounces uh, of, of, of sugar water right before I go to bed. Uh, there, I, there is nobody to blame. Uh, well, there is one person to blame on this planet for this fucking bowling ball uh, in my belly, and, and, and that is Hambone Little Tail. I, I, I take full responsibility for this bowling ball in, in my belly, and the day that I am more disgusted by this goddamn bowling ball in my belly than I'm in love with that goddamn two pound uh, jar of fucking chocolate co covered almonds is the day I will lose this shit. Um, so anyway, 
I think I was talking about my date last night. So anyway, so my date last night, she is 64 years old. We will call her uh, Betty Boop uh, since I can't use the word Lulu anymore. So Betty Boop, 64 years old, and uh, so I was uh, showing her a picture uh, of my former Texas driver's license, you know, back when I had short hair and I was clean shaven when I was a real estate agent for uh, Keller Williams in, in Austin, Texas. I don't think she believed that I was a, a real estate agent. Uh, so I showed her the picture of what I used to look like. So uh, she, well, obviously on her phone or thing. So she says, well, I have something to show you. And she shows me this picture of this tub of lard. So anyway, I forgot to mention that Betty Boop, she is 5'6 and 125 pounds. She's 64 years old. She is 5'6, 125 pounds. I don't know what that makes her BMI. Uh, prob I'm guessing around 22. Uh, you know, she looks absolutely fine for, you know, if she was 64, 34, as far as that is concerned. Um, so anyway, <coughs> so that's five foot six, 125 pounds, 64 year old woman <coughs> shows me this picture of, 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 of this moose. And, and I'm looking at it and, 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 and I had no clue who it was that she was showing me. Well, obviously, guys, who she who it was a picture of was her a, 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 a few years ago when she weighed 238 pounds. <clears throat> she just said she woke up one day and she was 60 years old, 60 years old, going in the mirror and, and, and looking at this fat, blob of adipose tissue uh, looking back at her 238 pounds and she said fuck this uh, I'm done with it I'm done with being a fat fucking slob and she lost 113 pounds she dropped 113 pounds by, by doing nothing special, uh, mainly just cutting the fucking portion sizes. These ungodly uh, the portions that they're, that they're serving now. I, I have noticed with all of this inflation, I noticed yesterday when I ordered a chimichanga at a Habanero's uh, Mexican restaurant, what they're doing with this inflation since they don't want to, instead of inflating the price on the menu, they're deflating the size of the portions, which is a good thing. Uh, so this thing that they, you know, when I think of a chimichanga, I'm thinking of something like, well, this chimichanga was about the size of a dill pickle, and, and I was completely satisfied at the end of the meal. It, it, it's when you... It, only eat as much as you need to and you know what they say it takes about 20 minutes uh, for your goddamn body to respond so eat about one-third uh, of what you normally eat and just get up from the table and 20 minutes later you'll forget about it uh, you know it, it was cutting down her portion sizes uh, and it did just, I, I'm not going to go through uh, her, her diet regimen uh, other than she just got fucking sick and tired of looking like a fucking fat pig. Okay? It, 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 it's that simple. Uh, and, and she said, I'm fucking done with this. <clears throat> and she has dropped 113 pounds. Uh, you know, in, in her 60s. You know, it's like, 
as she was saying, so she weighs 125 pounds now, she is going like, you know, it would be like me going out now and picking up a 113 pound uh, backpack, 113 pound backpack and putting it uh, on my back. And, and, and she goes, how the fuck did I ever used to walk across the goddamn yard? How did I ever get up a flight of fucking stairs with a 113 pound pack on my back? And, uh, you know, I, I've, I, I've had this exact same thought before, this exact analogy. Looking at all of these fat asses who choose to, uh, you know, just to have zero fucking self-discipline. Uh, you know, as I say, some of my best friends are obese. Uh, and, and, and that's their choice. And, and they own it. The ones, uh, it, it, my obese friends, and as I say, I have several of them. They do own it, okay? Uh, they admit uh, that it is their choice. And, and they tell me uh, that they could lose the weight. Uh, and obviously, they just don't want to. And since uh, none of my obese friends, uh, since I don't want to have sex with any of them, and uh, apparently they don't want to have sex with me, uh, you know, I could care less. Uh, I just, uh, I, you know, I just know all of the health uh, risk, uh, you know, with Corona Panic, the latest one, and I do wish they would uh, choose to uh, say they've had enough of this fucking bullshit and, and get rid of the weight because uh, I know that they would feel better like this woman, you know, she's kayaking. Uh, so when she took up kayaking as her exercise, I mean, that's part of it, it, it is the exercise thing. So she is has a hell of a lot more energy than she had. She's out kayaking uh, all over the place down here bicycling uh, and, and, and it has just gotten an entirely new lease on life uh, just just by not playing the fucking victim and blaming it uh, on blaming it on McDonald's it, it, it's fucking McDonald's fault uh, that I'm so fat no it's your fault for going into fucking McDonald's you know, these fat asses uh, blaming it uh, on fast food restaurants while they're fat. The unbelievable refusal to, to, to take any fucking responsibility uh, for this. I, I ain't buying it for one fucking minute. Uh, claiming that fucking bullshit. Anybody listening to this, including me, uh, whether you're walking around with a, looking like you're fucking eight months pregnant or, uh, or, or you haven't seen your fucking dick in, in 25 years. It, it's, it's all just, uh, it, it, it's just a matter of degree is all it is. I mean, this little dog is getting fat. Good God. Look at the belly on this little dog. This little dog weighs twice what he weighed when I got him. Yep, a little fat dog. But anyway, I'm going to wrap up this fat rant because uh, I need to go have a Walmart blueberry muffin for breakfast and uh, then uh, go lay in the hammock waiting for uh, buyers to come pouring in here to buy this place. Anyway... Enjoy your McDonald's while you still can. Bye, guys. <clears throat> you need to go get that fat little squirrel like that. Man, look at this gorgeous day. Look at this gorgeous day. Down here in the Point Lonesome Swamp. 
come down and see me in the Point Lonesome Swamp. I got to get back out on my <coughs> canoe and get back to uh, get back out there and continue my war on the uh, goddamn water lilies. I'm trying to open up this channel out to the open water. Man, what a gorgeous day. Bye, guys.